guys, Repos here, and welcome to something a brand new. And this is a game called Manita. Now this game has really caught my attention over the past couple of days because I've been watching the game trailers and it looks absolutely awesome. Damn, it looks cool. Anyway, Manita, what is it? Well, have you ever wanted to play as a shark and eat people and other things. Well, this is the game for you because you are a shark. And how this starts is you were cut from your mother's body and left to die in the unforgiven wastes of the Gulf Coast. That's pretty much how the story starts. But in the trailer, we are playing as the shark's mother and then to a point we uh, get caught and then we get cut out so yeah in the background is basically the tutorial the first 15 minutes of the game so you play it as the mother of the sh mother shark for that duration of time and then you get caught and then obviously you get cut out as I just said so your only tools are your wits your jaws and uncanny ability to evolve as you feed anything and everything is on the menu Provide you kill it before it kills you. So this game isn't going to be like you can go around and eat other eat things where you can, but they will attack you as well. So we've got crocodiles in this. They will they will take you out as well. Other sharks, killer whales. We've got human hunters and everything else. They will obviously try and kill you before you kill them. So it's up to you. Kill them. This game is an action RPG and an adventure game, so it's an open world game. And I gotta say, it does look beautiful when I saw the trailer. The gameplay looks amazing, like just how the colors blend in with each other, I guess. It just looks amazing, and it just. Oh, I just cannot wait to play this game. And so, we're gonna move on to more about this game because we all wanna know that. Man Eater is a single player action RPG, as I just said, set in an unforgiving waters of the Gulf Coast. Fight to survive in the open ocean with danger lurking at every depth. Use your tools, jaws and on your abilities uh, to evolve as you feed. And everything is on the menu. Kill or be killed. So, becoming become a man eater. Play as a giant bull shark and terrorize the coastal waters. Tear Swimmers and divers, limb from limb, give the humans a reason to fear you. So, you play as a bull shark, and that's how you, that's what you play as. Explore an, a massive open world. Amuse yourself in a living, breathing world full of threats, rewards, explore sunken wrecks lurking in swamps, or just cruise the open ocean looking for whales to feed on so you can feed on whales if you choose to but I guess they will be a tricky people tri <laughs> tricky animal to take down deep stats and role playing role play and customize your shark with a variety of stats driven systems evolve different parts of your body to improve how they function or pump your ferocity to enter brief frenzies so, as I said, there's an RPG element to this, so you can upgrade your shark to however you want. I did just watch a podcast, or not a podcast, an interview with one of the game directors, and he said you can basically turn your shark into a vampire where you bite them and you get your health back. Uh, you can be like a tanky shark as well, and it just, and an AoE as well. You can be like the one that just AoEs stuff. But that could be just the tip of the iceberg with the customizations. Yeah, yeah. So, the team behind this is from uh, Tripwire Interactive. They gave us depth, so they are familiar with the sharks because they that depth the depth game was pretty cool. I didn't get a chance to play it, but depth was pretty cool. It was um, uh, humans versus sharks. And humans had to get treasure, defend this bot called Steve, and the sharks had to kill you. And you could play as a range of sharks while trying to kill the humans. It's like a team death team death match 
kind of situation there. Uh, killing Floor, they made Killing Floor, and that game was amazing. Killing Floor is just beyond nuts with zombies and all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. So their goal is to push the feeling of playing as a shark to new heights, developing a strictly single player experience that will challenge and engage the player from start to finish. Gritty, visual, heart pounding action games is what they're calling it. So that's all to come and I cannot wait to get this game. So this is going to their website, which I got it up right now. Uh, we're gonna quickly see through what we got. We got eat, explore, and evolve in an open world action RPG. Play through a full narrative, narrative story based campaign narrated by Chris Romel, who's Saturday Night Live and very well. He also is in Rick and Morty. Uh, feed on humans, consume nutrients, and find rare shark loot to evolve past what nature. Nature intended. So basically, you're you're evolving your shark buff beyond nature as intended. So that's pretty cool. Explore seven large regions, including bayous of the Gulf Coast. That's where you basically start. I'm guessing. Resort beaches, industrial docks, and the open ocean, and more. Experience a living world with a full day-night cycle, which is pretty cool. I do like that idea. Unlock and equip various elev. Uh, evolutions there we go that improved and enhanced your sharks as you progress through the campaign Hunty, hunter parties and bounty system the human fight backs the humans do fight back the battle against various types of humans ranging from small skiffs all the way up to coastal guards i have not seen any of those and for those who are wondering there is a pre-order bonus it's an exclusive and you get the tiger shark adaptation like the tiger shark of often called the garbage can of the ocean this evolution allows you to digest nearly ev anything it increases your ability to gain vital nutrients from your prey so that is pretty much it that i can find on the man eater and i gotta say this does look so cool and i cannot wait to Get my hands on this, and it's actually a few months away. It's you, we can get our hands on it on May twenty second, so it's pretty close by, and we won't have to wait long, I guess. Um, yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more man eater coming your way very soon. I'm gonna let the footage run. Hopefully, you enjoy it. Video in the background because why not? And I will see you in the next one. Peace. Emphasize that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That shark needs a good whack on their nose. Go get him, Chad. How you doing there, shark? in boat attacks. Even for experienced sailors, sharks can unfold a load of surprises. Sure.
On board the Cajun Queen, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. Yeah, this my daddy's iron, all right. But this ain't D Shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. She's on for me. Hello! <laughs> Are you mama in there? Oh, well, why'd you do that? So I can identify her. Next time I see her, when I spear her. The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You never want to turn on the Gamma. Big Game Hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. 